Hey everybody, this is Nikki's The One, and um, today is Monday, so that means I'm going to be doing a Motivational Monday, and this is just the start of my day. Like I said, I wanted to start off my days and my videos with um, how I naturally am before I start getting ready, put my full face on, just to basically check in with you guys and let you guys see the real me, how I really am, even though me with makeup is the real me, but y'all know what I mean. Um, so it's Monday, yesterday was Sunday, which is Mother's Day, and I'm going to be posting that video, um, tomorrow for Mother's Day because, um, no, I'm going to be posting my, um, yeah, I'm going to be posting it tomorrow for Mother's Day. Just to show you guys what I did. Basically, it's just a plethora of um, a compilation of videos. Um, Snapchats, me checking in throughout the day. Just to let you guys know what I did. But happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Because every day is our day. But I'm just so thankful and I had a great time. But today is Monday and I, I'm in the middle of washing my clothes. At the laundromat, I cannot wait till I get me a wash and dry because this is so dead, you know? It's so inconvenient to just... And I don't have a car, so it's just really inconvenient for me to have to go to the laundromat. And I hate sitting at laundromats. Um, I hate sitting there. Like, it irks my nerves to sit there. But, um... But, yeah, I, um, I have a dentist appointment because... Both of the back sides of my teeth is like killing me, killing me. And it may be strep throat. It may, I don't think it's strep throat, honestly. I really don't. Because if it was, I would, like, I feel myself getting sick and then getting better, getting sick, then getting better. It's the weather change. I heard, like, today is supposed to be 81, but in a few days it might be 52. And that's the truth. Um,. But anyways, yeah, I wanted to check in with you guys, and um, I'm just going to do the the Leo horoscope, my Leo horoscope for today. And this is just a sidebar um, for those of y'all who are not subscribed to me yet, go ahead and subscribe and like, you know, so you can stay up with me. Follow me on Snapchat. Like, my Snapchat be lit sometimes. <laughs> but, yeah, it be lit. It's Nikki's the one. So y'all can have more updates on what's going on with me and everything. But, here it is for today. Leo, rather than become defensive toward criticism or even an accusation that comes your way, try to see if a nugget of truth exists within it. Pride could get in the way of you accepting what you're inclined to reject, defend, or justify. You'll gain much more admiration and respect by holding your hands up and admitting to what's being said and bring closure to a matter that could hang around indefinitely otherwise. And they, they just be telling the truth so much, like, I don't know about other, you know, signs. That's what I heard. Crusty as hell. But with Leos, we are so, we think we know it all. And that's something that I'm going to admit today. We think we know it all. If somebody, it's our way or the highway, you know, we think we know it all. And if somebody tries to jump in the mix and tell you that you are wrong or your way is not the way we get super defensive so that is true and I have a lot of pride and I'm working on it I'm working on my pride I'm working on accepting um accepting criticism well as well you know sometimes when people tell you stuff you be like I don't you know what the fuck you talking about you know but I think that's where real friends come into the mix because you can be, to everybody else, you'll be, you know, oh, she on top of the world, or, ooh, or she this and she that, but your real friends will pull your ass to the side like, okay, you had your fun, but um, let's be real. 
you know, and that's what I love about real friends because they'll they'll step you to the side and they'll they'll tell your ass in a minute like, all right, you had your fun, but what's really going on? Like, what's really good, you know? And then in five seconds, I get the fucking crying and boohoo and be like, like, oh, people didn't know. But um, I don't know. I'm just going off and off and off. My mind runs. It paces so much lately. Um, but the message for today is to live your life for yourself. Live your life for yourself. Don't live your life for nobody else. Do not live, um, let others live their lives through you. And what I mean, a lot of times parents do this, like they, they want you to be the best at whatever you do. But a lot of times they try to shape your life for you and tell you what you need to do to be successful. For instance, with college. This is by no means to tell people, don't go to college. College is not good for you. But in my situation, I'm constantly battling, going back and forth. Am I going back to school? Am I not? And with my father, he went to a trade school. He does. He's an electrician or whatever. And he knew at a young age, like, he always fixed on stuff. And his People, of course, they were old school or whatever. So his mom had 13 kids, which is my grandma. Bless her soul. She's not living anymore. But she um, she had 13 kids, and her job back then was to, to raise the kids and stay at home, be an at-home mom. And the father, he owned his own business. He owned several properties. And he did what he had to do. So my dad got that hustle and entrepreneurial um, gene, I believe. I believe it's in your in your gene, embedded in your genes. I don't think that it's something that you just wake up one day and say, oh, I'm supposed to be a boss. So I, oh, I'm supposed to be an entrepreneur. I think it's always in your, I think it's in your bloodline to be a leader, to be a entrepreneur, to have that spirit. But... My dad used to, things used to break in the house all the time. Like, things used to break down. And because my grandfather wasn't there, like, because he was working all the time, my dad tried to fix the things. And it really, it really um, was something that he loved to do. So, I think that finding your passion is something that you really don't need to find. It's always been there. It's just you realizing and bringing it to light what you really enjoy doing. And basically, he used to fix things. And sometimes the fixes didn't work. <laughs> but that's what it's about. You, Whatever you love to do, you perfect it. So what he did in his instance was he went, because he was, um, things were falling apart so much and he was breaking stuff so much, he went to a trade school for it. So I'm not saying that, all I'm saying is whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're passionate about, and it's going to be mess ups in the middle. I mean, in the beginning, it's going to be mess ups. It's going to be times where you just, you're not like you like to do it, but you're not an expert at it. It's okay to invest in yourself and learn more about what you love to do. Learn more about your passion. Get more involved with your passion. Invest in yourself because... He's had his own business since 1975, and it's 2017, and he's doing well for himself. And that's just one story. That's one success story. And how you know it's your passion is that you genuinely love to do it. You don't have to get paid for it. You will do it whether or not you get paid for it, period. And I was just, you know, I feel like if you know your passion and you know what you want to do with yourself, Go for it. You're you further than most people in this life because everybody wants to suppress it. Everybody wants to say, oh, well, you know, that's not going to make me money or that's not going to do this and that's not going to do that. You have to have take a leap of faith. You have to know that because on the inside, you're down on the inside. That's, that's how you know that you have a passion and that you're getting closer to your breakthrough because... 
every day that you're not doing your passion or what you're passionate about, you feel like you're dying on the inside. Like you have to do it every single day. You have to have it. I feel like you should incorporate it in your life every single day because you'll, if you don't, you'll die on the inside. And that's the truth. You'll become more and more like everybody else. And who wants to be like everybody else? Not me. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be like everybody else. I want to be Nikki. I want to live and have the same life as Dick, Joe, and Bob. I want to have the same life as me. I want to live my life for me. I want to be happy. I want to do what I'm passionate about. And I want to live. And that's what this message is about. Don't live for other people. Don't live your life trying to please other people. Don't do something because you think... Hey, if I do this, then I'm going to make the most return for it. Because a lot of times, you, you, it's been a lot of people that's maybe successful in it, but they don't love it. So they quit and they end up doing whatever. Or you're living your life every day and you're dying on the inside. I don't want to be complacent with something that I'm not truly invested in or, or something that I'm not passionate about because. That's being a phony and that's being somebody that you're really not and that's living for other people. And at the end of the day, other people ain't about to pay your bills. Other people is not about to, they're not with you at the end of the day when you're crying and when you're low and when you're weak. They're not with you at the end of the day. You live your life for you. And that's all. It's, it sounds very simple, but it's not for a lot of people, including myself. It's not, but live for yourself. Because at the end of the day, this is your life. You are your biggest threat and you are your biggest um, motivation. You decide every day when you wake up in the morning what you're going to make out of your day, what you're going to make out of your life. Do what you're passionate about and live for yourself and live it to the fullest and just, just do it. That's all. That's all that you can do is do it. Failure is something that a lot of people are afraid of, but people that are successful has failed. You just try things different ways. You have to fail to be successful, period. You have to be fearless. You have to not be afraid and take those risks. There has been so many times where I've been told no. Well, I've been told you can't do this, you can't do that. And it wasn't to prove people wrong. It was embedded in my heart and my soul to know that a nine to five is not my everyday life. And yeah, it's a stepping stone. Don't get me wrong. Thank God that I'm not where I used to be. Thank God that I'm not homeless. Thank God that I have a roof over my head and that I have a means to live and have the necessities that I need. But you know in your heart and you know that what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, your nine-to-five job is just a stepping stone to get you to where you want to be. And it's okay to know that. It's okay to um, understand that that will, that will either make or break a lot of people. It will make or break you. So either you're going to step up to the challenge and do what you got to do and work on your passion daily. And never stop until you get to where you need to be, where you're doing your passion daily. And if you get paid for it, that's a bonus. But at the end of the day, it's your life. And you decide how you're going to live it. Don't let other people decide it for you. And that's it. I know it was long drawn out. And I tried to make these videos short. I really do. But I have a lot to say. And I want y'all to know that you can live your passion. You can do what you want to do. You have the power over your life. So start start taking the wheel and stop letting other people drive for you. Stop being a passenger. That's all I got to say. Stop being a passenger. So I'm not done getting myself together. But I'll show you guys how I look at the end. But... That's that's the real. That's what it is. That's the truth. And I'm so thankful that you guys decided to watch my video. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.